Rhyolite Ridge is a very important strategic lithium asset located in, of all things, the United States. Uh, uh, up to this point, there's been really rather minor production of lithium in the United States. And, and uh, to, you know, to date right now, there's about 4,000 tons total production. Uh, and yet the United States is a significant consumer of lithium. Uh, and what's remarkable about Rhyolite Ridge is its unique mineralogy has now been sh shown by the work that we've done at Global Geoscience to be amenable to very low cost processing to get to very affordable, low cost and large scale lithium production, as well as, by the way, as a, a second product, uh, a significant amount of boric acid uh, which is a you know readily used in about 128 different applications, particularly in glass, and it's the combination of those two materials uh, that makes Rhyolite Ridge so so important and economically important as well. We're clearly going to be in phase one, producing somewhere around 20,000 tons of lithium uh, per year which puts us up in with the, the significant uh, uh, lithium production capabilities around the world. It's similar to the expansion at Albemarle that they're doing right now, it, it, and it's similar to the Oracobre expansion or Lithium America's uh, uh, operation. So it, it, it's, it's in that same you know, important scale, uh, you know, somewhere close to 10% of the current world's uh, uh, demand. Uh, but uh, I think that uh, when you add into it that we'll be producing about 175,000 tons of boric acid while we're producing 20,000 tons, it, from a revenue perspective, it looks more like about 35,000 tons of revenue equivalent uh, lithium. Uh, that makes us into quite a significant uh, uh, operation. And, uh, but the exciting thing is that once we settle that down and get that all in good order and operating well, we have lots of room to be able to go into a, a substantial second and perhaps third phase of, of expansion as, uh, as uh, we're prepared to do it. And, and we want to make sure that we can demonstrate that expandability.